I don't feel like the series is lost. Down 2-1, while well, the Mets have been in this spot before, whether a must-win game in Milwaukee, whether it is coming back from after losing the first game in this series, 9-0, the Mets have responded every single time, and I would expect that to be the case again. So a lot of long faces walking out of their city field last night. I was one of them. I think there's reason still to be optimistic. This is a long series here. Mets have work to do, but I'm not giving up hope after last night. I wouldn't use the word aberration when in two of the three games it's 17 zip. You know, the aberration will be if it's, you know, three, four, five, six games and you have one game like this. The Mets have played three games. They've had two games like this. So I'll tell you how I'm thinking. If the Mets weren't involved and I didn't have to do this for my job, I wouldn't watch. That's how ugly this series is. I mean, I think I'm watching a JV team. Play against a varsity team. And and I hate to do this, but I want everybody to listen. Honestly, just I'm going to lay out for a second, and I want you to listen. You ready? That's the air leaving the balloon. The Mets are done. The Mets are clearly inferior. I know Lindor's had amazing moments. You going to do anything this series besides the one hit? I mean, base is loaded. You strike out. One for 11. Alonzo, it's a bit of stiff. Alvarez looks like he should be in double A. He is lost. And by the way, why the manager's going to play him tonight is beyond me. I understand that you roll with the guys that kind of got you there, but uh, he is so bad. Now it's defense. I would not play Alvarez, even though he is. Nimmo's hurt. I got I to I tell you, I, I've got great respect for Nimmo. Nimmo might have to sit. He can't run. And he talked about... You know, when he's in the outfield, he's on the bases. That's where the plantar fasciitis really, really creeps in. He took two swings last night. I, I honestly thought he was going to fall down. So I'm not saying it's all the Mets' fault. A couple of things are going against him right now. He got some injuries, whatever. They are running into a team, Sal, that if they play 10 series, they're going to win two. The Dodgers are better. They're better in in almost every single area, and the Mets have a world of issue. Yeah. Last night was gross. You get waxed nine nothing after you lose uh, eight nothing after you lose eight nothing in game one. I don't understand why you hung up on the why you hung up on the score because score what? the score is not you you should know better than this. Why do you think the game resulted in an eight nothing finish, much like game one? Well, because there was sloppy defense, right, and because there were a couple tack on runs late, and, okay. because the, well, and because the Mets had three hits. Yeah, yeah, okay. But the point is, the Mets are in a game where they are losing, so then they bring in crappy Reed Garrett into the game. He furthers the problem, so they bring in crappy Tyler McGill. Like the result, nine nothing game one, eight nothing last night. That's because of the way the game was being played out. It's not like Diaz got got beat or the Mets best relief pitchers got beat Peterson got beat in this game that didn't happen so forget the eight nothing or the I combined can't, 17 I can't that they, matters to me they, I'll tell you why you, you said the Mets are done you you sure you want to say that I for, don't think they're winning the series for, for, I got, listen okay. I told you I, I said that if they lost game two that it was over understood and I'm just gonna put and I also said Dodgers in six before so right. I felt strongly the Dodgers would win don't get me wrong right. I'm not trying to speak this into existence do I think the Mets win the series I don't right okay I, I don't that, that's fair I mean, I mean I, they look I, terrible. I, I don't think you're alone I think a lot of people are feeling that However, if you actually step back and look at it, they're down two games to one. Like this is somebody was going to be down two games to one after last night. That's how series work, especially when you split the first two, which they needed to do. It was disappointing. It was a little surprising. I didn't. I wasn't so sure they would win. But the way that they lost was disappointing to me. I thought if they were going to lose last night, it would be because Severino would get beat up. And he didn't. They beat themselves. That's what's frustrating. Whether it's Alvarez making a stupid decision defensively, whether it's Severino or not, his arm was fine. His glove was the problem last night. And then obviously not coming through in the clutch. I mean, I, Lindor can't do it every time. Somebody else at some point is going to have to drive in some runs because if Lindor doesn't do it, the way that they're going, it's not going to get the job's not going to get done. However, does that mean that I think the series is over after going down 2 1? No. Now, I mean, the Dodgers are good. We knew this was going to be a tough series. The score has nothing to do with it to me because that's just getting fat off of the bad bullpen for the Mets. It was not a give-up game, but it certainly wasn't a here's my A-plus stuff to keep this game close. Mets played a bad game last night. That's fine. They've lost two of three so far. To win the series, you've got to win four out of seven. There's work to be done from the Dodgers. And the Mets, now, what I will say is if they lose one of these next two, then I think that they're done. I don't think they're coming back needing to go to L.A. to win both. But yet 2-1? Come on. 3-1, different story. 2-1 or 3-2, going to L.A. for game six and seven. Yep. And even then, depending on how these next two games go, maybe I wouldn't give up just yet. But it's 2-1. It's game, going to game four tonight. Sorry, so let me ask you this. So they're hitting 179 as a team, and we yeah. ran through all the stats of the four remaining teams yesterday. OPS, the pertinent ones. OPS, average, and team ERA. So 
Yeah, I, I'll grant you this: that 179 is is not necessarily nobody's a 179 hitter, and, and you know, for even the even the White Sox are 179 hitter. But what do you think will appreciably improve to win the series? Like that's where my faith dissipates because I, I do think Lindor's going to run into it. I'm not worried about him. Do I think that Pete turns this on? I don't. I don't think Nimmo is physically capable, well, and I and I home. hate that yeah. for him. Yeah. Uh, that stinks, but that's that's baseball. Guys get hurt. Um, Alvarez is a mental mess. I don't. I don't. I, I look at things and I'm like, well, who's going to really, really change this tone? And my answer is, I don't see enough answers, which is why I think the Dodgers will win. But I want to get back to something. And I guess at the end of the day, it, maybe it doesn't matter. But I do react to the score and the optics of the series. Yeah. So I'll think about this. Like we come in on a Monday and the Jets or the Giants lose thirty-seven to six, right. or the Jets or the Giants lose twenty-four to twenty-three. How are we reacting to that? But, because but I don't know what the what the football equivalent is to an eight nothing loss or a nine nothing loss, but it sounds like it's about thirty-seven to six, right. if not worse. But to get to eight nothing, the Mets weren't putting their best out there, so that's why I wouldn't. I don't care about the score. The game was over once, not hitting, once, once that stiff Reed Garrett, who I can't stand the sight of Reed Garrett. What? Like, I can't stand him. And it goes back to the point of the Mets don't have enough, right? Because if they did, then you wouldn't be seeing Reed Garrett on the roster. Reed Garrett won't be in the major leagues next season. He's horrible. But yet in the Mets, in their B or C game, obviously not the A game, with the lead, Reed Garrett is nowhere to be found. That that tells you all you need to know. So he's the best of the crappy options when they're trying to keep the game close when they don't have the lead. Mm -hmm. They're not going to waste their best bullet. Stanek's not coming into the game. Maton's not coming into the game. They're not going Peterson here. They need to figure that out. And we'll get into some of their decision making, which I have an issue with, which is going to cost them potentially down the road in the series and already starting to impact them in a negative way. But I, the score to me is 8 nothing because they have their worst pitchers in the game. This was, hey, Tyler McGill, we don't want you anywhere near this action, but we have nobody else. you got to become an innings eater for us. You cross your fingers and hope you can get the job done, but he can't. That's how it got to 8 nothing. You want to say the offense was bad? That's a different story. Like, they got to be able to score some runs, but as far as the 9 nothing, it meant nothing in Game 2. Game 1 meant nothing for Game 2, just like I have to expect that Game 3, hopefully for the Mets, could mean nothing for Game 4. I don't think that there's necessarily carryover, like, just because the Mets were, were really bad last night score wise that it carries over like literally carries over but I just I don't think they've got the answers so whether they lost five nothing or five one to me it's immaterial right. okay, like, yeah, I, right. and I got news for you like it's to me it's I and he won't do this to me it's so dire based on what I said I would sit Nemo I would sit Alvarez and I would sit Taylor I'd give Bader a shot I'd sit Alvarez Alvarez can't play He's broken right now. That doesn't mean he's not going to be good down the road. I like the kid, but man, his approach is busted. Forget about AAA. He looks like he should be in AA. And then Nimmo, who we all have great respect for, the man can't move. And if I'm going down, I got to go down with healthy bodies. I would sit those three guys. BT and Sal on the fan, 888-808-1019. Our friends at Town Fair Tire remind you that at Town Fair Tire, you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. I knew there'd be an overreaction today. I know that deep down, a lot of Mets fans are feeling like the series might be over. They don't want to acknowledge it. They want to trust in this team. This team has earned your belief at the very least. There's two more games here to be played at City Field. If they win tonight, all of a sudden, and everybody's back on the, the you know, hey, it's going to be great. And look at the Mets. They get two more games here. You got to go win them. Now you're down to it. Just like their back was against the wall. Game three against Milwaukee. They responded. This team has responded every single time this year. Their backs have been against the wall. After game one, uh-oh, can't go down 0-2. And they went out there and beat up on the Dodgers. They need to do that again. Otherwise, it, it's, I mean, if they go down 3-1, then I would say and, the series And, and Sal, you know who's yeah. waiting for you. Yamamono. Yeah, I'm looking forward to tattooing him tonight. Ray's in Babylon. What's up, Ray? Hey, Ray. Good morning, fellas. You're both right. I agree with BT that the Mets are done, but damn it, they have that illogical magic and that belief. Like you said, you got to believe, but We've seen this movie before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Ray, 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 I, just, I just want to call a timeout for a second here, and then I'll let you continue. Sure. I don't believe yeah. in magic or pixie dust or the mojo or the bull crap that everybody wants to spew. The reason why okay. you should believe in this team if you're a Mets fan is because they've done it. They did it in Atlanta. They did it in Milwaukee. They did it all regular season long. Once they got they dug themselves out from that 11 games under, they did it from June on, then in Atlanta, mm -hmm. then in Milwaukee, and then against the Phillies. They 
they've done it against the Dodgers in game two. So they've done it. That's why there's belief. And that's that's right. And that's when they disproved the fickle uh, Mets fan that now they're on the bandwagon again. But I don't want to, you know, talk in broad strokes. But here's the point I want to make. We've seen this movie before. St. Peter's College from Jersey City with the March Madness. How far did that go? How far did it go with the Jets, with Mike Fitzpatrick getting to the playoffs? How far did that get us? Okay, we've seen this before. You know what happens? It always happens. The more refined, polished, disciplined team prevails. Did you see that old Tawny home run last night? Ray, you missed the word, Ray. Ray, you missed the word. Yeah, we all saw the home run. You missed the word. Talented. I mean, refined, poly. All right, a great, cute description. Dodgers are better. I think they're a lot better. Now, I think the Mets were also better than the Dodgers in 88, and the Mets didn't win. Right. So I understand you not well, to. Of course did, you're did, not tapping did, out. You guys aren't tapping did you out. Think, did you think the Phillies were better than the Mets? I did. Me too. But so, not as much right. as I think, as not the gaps not as uh, pronounced fair, as fair with enough, the Dodgers but, compared right, to the but, Mets. But we all thought the Phillies, I mean, they were. The Phillies were the better team yep. record-wise. They were. And on paper, you look at their talent and the big names that they have. The Brewers were better record-wise than the Mets in the regular season. And they had all three of those games at home. So the Mets have been doing this every step of the way. So nobody's going to dispute, I wouldn't think, that the Dodgers are a better team. Doesn't mean they're going to win the series. And where where we have a difference is it's 2-1. Like 3-1, 3-0, different story. Mm-hmm. We just went through this two days ago. They got pasted in game one where the feeling was, uh-oh. And then game two, they come back, and right out of the gate, they respond. So why wouldn't I expect that to be the case tonight? Well, no, I mean, I, I respect that you that you don't expect that. I, I truly do. My answer is it's different. Like, okay, one game, you know, Mets have been, whether it's a travel, logistical thing, just based on, you know, the weather and the way the fit, the season finished and tired arms. And, hey, I didn't put too much into and, – and you go back and listen to the show the other day. If you listen to the way we – you know, I don't want to say recap, but yeah. the way we talked about the, the first game, I wasn't so hung up on 9-zip or the three hits they got or this or the nah, nah, bad game, whatever, chalk it up. I did say if they lost game two, I did think it was over. Right? I, and, they, right. and they didn't. So, to their credit. So, <clears throat> I don't think that it's so much that it's it was the one game, but now it's two. And, like, right. when it, it's like going out and, you know, I don't know, you have a, a three or a five-round MMA match. I, two of the three rounds, one guy gets his teeth absolutely kicked in. Is that an outlier? Probably not. The guy's probably tougher, faster, stronger, whatever. Now, question for you. Yeah. Forget about Lindor. So, for the Mets to come back and do this, just give me yes or no's. Does Alonzo have a big influence the rest of the way? I know he has to for them to win. Do you think he does, honestly? Uh, I think he will have an impact felt in the next two games. Okay, I don't. All right. Nemo, do you think that he is physically capable of doing anything for a sustained period to win? He looks – he's hurt. I mean, he's, he's yeah. injured, actually. Uh, well, he hasn't been done hurt. It. He, he hasn't really done much this whole postseason, so it's hard to say season. that again. He's one for ten this I, series. I think they'll no get rookies. one of the two to do something of significance. Is that more out of hope, or is that more out of because one of the, if one of the two don't, then it's over, and you yeah, probably well, that, so you almost yeah, have that, to say yeah. that to to kind of meet your enthusiasm, or at least your belief that the right, series isn't over. Right, but also we were already and maybe we were first in line to bury Pete Alonso, and then he did. The, the most incredible thing that I've ever seen as okay, far as hitting that okay, home run. Okay, so okay. I'm, I'm hesitant to, and that's the thing, like Nimmo's been inconsistent all year long, but like, would it shock me if he had a big hit or two over the Or a three-run it, it, homer. Yeah, like, I, me neither, so, so, but. Right, logically, based on what we're seeing, no. Okay. But, but the way that their season has gone. I got you. I, I almost okay. expect one of them to have a big hit at some gotcha. point. Got you. Uh, two-parter. Number one, do you think that Alvarez takes a seat? No. Okay. I mean, I mean he's, not he's not because they to, said. Yeah. I, I was just really, yeah. you know, rhetorically asking. Do you think he starts to play well? He is absolutely. He's off. I, he he looks. He looks shot. Do you think he does anything in this series besides strike out and throw no. balls at runners' feet? No. That that basically go into the out. Okay, mm-hmm. I agree with that. I think he's absolutely done. Um, th- these are those are questions, and that's why I I would be very worried as a Mets fan. Like. If I can point to tangible things that I think are going to, and I do think Lindor is going to have some moments because he's, he's very, very good. The other guys, I don't think they do much. And if they don't, they can't beat the Dodgers. Uh, that I agree with. KC is calling from Bradley Beach, New Jersey. What's up, KC? Hey, Case. Hey, guys. How are you? Good. Good, buddy. What's uh, up? Good. First off, first off, I'm, I'm just driving here. I had to call in. I, Sal, I agree 100% with you, man. I, I am, I'm the opposite of the spectrum from when 
that last caller who just called and tried to compare college basketball to a, to a major league baseball game. You, you just can't. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous comparison. I, I think the Mets get a gem tonight from Quintana. Mm. I think they pull it out tonight. They definitely need to score some runs. They need to get back on track. I don't see any reason why the Entos doesn't continue to be hot. And I do see Pete having a big moment. And if they could win tonight, which they will, and they'll tie it up. And then tomorrow it'll be interesting to see whether they go with Peterson to start a Senga, whatever combination of the two. And then if they, when they get back to L.A., I have 100% confidence in Manaya. 100 percent that they're going to win game six yeah well i so, mean look you're, you're spinning it forward casey and i respect that and thank you for the call Th- those are things you just said that have to happen here's what i will say the only reason why i'm not burying the mets is because it's only two games to one and because they've shown you reason that you should believe in them every step of the way i understand the task at hand bt the dodgers are very difficult this is going to be the toughest match we said that coming into the series we said it certainly after game one i I thought the Mets minimum, though, would win two out of three at home. Even with the loss last night, as ugly as it was, winning two out of three at home is still possible. Once that becomes an impossibility, Mm -hmm. then I will start to say the magic is going to run out. This team has met their match, and the season is over. But there's still two more games to be played here. Got to get tonight. Then you got to get game five. That's it. I mean, you want to win this series, that's what you have to do. You can't go down 3-1, or you can't go down 3-2 going back to Los Angeles. Yo, you get, it's going to be that kind of day? BT, it's out. Now, with all that being said, I'm not giving up hope or belief that this team can come back in the series, but I have some major, major issues with the Mets. Mistakes that they're making and the excuses, and it's unacceptable, and we'll get to that when we come back.